Limwood Avocado Nursery is New Zealand's biggest, supplying trees to orchardists around the country and internationally. New plants are produced via a procedure called microcloning. Stephen Wade describes microcloning as the Everest of plant propagation. It took a decade of practice before he commercialised the process at Limwood and another four years before they were able to produce significant volumes. There's two different types of avocado rootstocks. There's a seedling rootstock, which is very simple, and 95, probably 99% of the New Zealand industry is based on seedling rootstocks. And of late, um, clonal rootstocks have been developed in New Zealand. What a seedling is, is pretty simple. We start with a seed, and because we start with a seed and you've got the male and female components that make up a seed, we have genetic diversity within that. Whereas a clonal rootstock is grown from a, a vegetative cut. So you get a cutting and you would get roots growing off that cutting. And because that cutting's off the mother tree, the cutting will be identical genetically to the mother tree. Clonal rootstocks around the world have been selected because a mother tree that they've come from has shown certain characteristics. They might be able to grow in slightly wetter conditions. They might be able to grow in conditions where Phytophthora or root rot is the pressure is higher. They might be able to grow under conditions where salinity is higher. In New Zealand we've selected the ones where, where they can grow under probably a lower oxygenated environment and also where Phytophthora pressure is high. It's probably only a tree in 100,000 that the clonal rootstocks have been selected from. So that's, that's how special they are. We start by selecting a seed and we simply germinate that. With heat and water, we can germinate that. So that grows on to that stage. That's just a month more advanced than that one. When we get to about this stage, we then graft on what will become the potential rootstock. We call this the nurse seed, and we call it that because all it does is nurses our little clonal tree through the process and in the end we're going to sever it and get rid of it. So the next step is we graft on a little piece of rootstock. This shoot here, one or two of them, will grow in the dark, perfectly white, perfectly lily white. So we'll get a stem coming up here, and that is the area we will get to root. So what we do, we, we come in and we wound the stem and apply some rooting hormone. And that's the step we've got there. So this is where the roots are growing. Now when this gets to a sufficient maturity, and we a lot of a lot of what we do is all based on the maturity of the wood. When this gets to the right maturity, we then are going to graft our fruiting scion onto here, which is our hass or puerte or whatever you like. And that's the stage we've got to here. So we've, we've actually got to manage to get one here where we've got two on the one seed. And so we've, we've got two grafts here. When this sprouts sufficiently, we do something that's dramatic for the tree. We sever the nurse seed. So what we have is a little microclone. Now if we we're going to export, we would export it at that stage. So you can imagine we can, we can put 50 of those in a box. And so freight doesn't become an issue. So if we just look inside here, we'll see some roots. And on the other side, at this stage we check for any disease. And the secret of the nursery business is, if in doubt, throw it out. Because the worst thing to do is keep spending money on a tree that's never going to turn out any good. Um, there's two nurseries producing clonal rootstocks. We're the only one using this particular technique. And what we're doing is opening up the potential for export markets. There's another nursery in South Africa using the same technique. And, and if we aren't going to send that overseas, we then plant it into a PB10, this size bag here, and grow it on for a local orchardist. We're trying to produce a tree that's disease-free, pest-free, true to type. So when we say it's a Hasson Dusa, it is a Hasson Dusa, and to meet certain specifications, physical specifications. 
So we run a high health scheme here that's audited just to make sure that we're doing everything right. Anything that comes into the nursery, we sanitise in some way. We pasteurise our potting mix. We're trying to take out the main pathogenic fungal groups, but killing fungi is just a process of temperature versus time. So we're killing those pathogenic fungi, but we don't want to kill all the fungi and bacteria in there. The last thing we want is, is a biological vacuum. We, we want a mix that's just got the good fungi and got, we've got rid of the bad stuff. We're producing around about 20,000 seedlings and seven or 8,000 clonals. The percentage of clonals is going up every year. In the nursery we've got three full-timers and I've got one full-timer in the orchard and I float around and put on my two cents worth here and there. To produce a clonal avocado is, is technically very difficult. I'd, I'd describe it as the Everest of plant propagation. In the first year I think we started with 200 nurse seeds and finished up with about six plants. And the learning curve is very slow because you make mistakes in that first year and so you try some different things in the second year and you make more mistakes and get 12 trees in the second year. So each year you try a few different things so the level of improvement is very slow. With the clonals in particular it's about an 18 month process to put one together. So I've got to decide two years out how many um, trees we're going to produce. So I, I talk to a lot of growers and, and go to a lot of industry conferences and talk to, talk to the hierarchy of the industry and really get a feel for the confidence of growers. And that comes a lot comes down to payout. If they've got money in their pockets, they spend some of it with me. The government has demonstrated some confidence in the future of the avocado industry, with $4.5 million invested this year for research in a primary growth partnership scheme. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.